What you mean you ain't know? Battery 4 can be routed in Reaper just like in those other DAWs. Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm making this video in response to a comment I received about battery and the multi-outputs and how to route that in Reaper. I know it's been done or there's other videos that are showing how to do it for let's say like Easy Drummer or Addictive Drums too, but I didn't see any videos really specifically on how to do it for battery. So here we are. All right, so let me go ahead and get this out of the way now. What I'm about to show you, this only works on the VST3 version of battery. If you're using anything else but the VST3 version, I say load up a new track right now, go into it, pull up the battery VST3 version. Go into the preferences, make sure that the VST3 version, the preferences that you have, the engine is set up for however you want to configure it. I'm using what I'm calling a 1012 setup, meaning that by default, the routing and, and battery is set up so that I have 10 stereo channels and 12 mono channels. Again, I have the 1012, 10 stereo, 12 mono. All right. So you have that low whatever kit you have in here. In this case, I just have in the the bomb.com kit load up the bomb.com kit or whichever kit you have copy the MIDI file from here or move it however you want to the next down to that track with the VST three and let's go all right so step two open battery in Reaper's effects chain window I typically don't use it open in that window. I have it in the floating effects window, which I like. I don't want to have all the extra stuff on the side, but this only works from the effects chain window. So from here, I can just double click the top. And now I'm in the effects chain window so that I can view everything, all the plugins within my list. Next, I'm going to right click on battery, VST3 version, battery, and I'm going to scroll down to build multi-channel routing for output of selected effects. Again, I have battery four as my selected effect. I'm going to click build the multi-channel routing and I get this pop-up window from Reaper. Build routing confirmation. Do you want to add the following tracks to this effect? Yes, we do. So in this case, it's going to add all these tracks, all these outputs, excuse me, as tracks. So I click yes. And now you see on the side here, I have a ton of tracks that Reaper has just created. And they're all mapped to the outputs from battery. Scroll back up here. There we go. So if I play the track now, everything is still going through channel one and two, but we can easily reroute that. And I wanna go back to just my floating. So I'll double click this and I will close this by right clicking on the pad and battery, changing the output from master to the direct out. And again, you're checking or setting it to whichever one of these you want. I want to send my kick to the mono, so I'm going to go to mono 21. And if I scroll, if I scroll down, you see it's now on mono 21 down here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put this side stick on 22. And then we can start turning these down. Let's put 
this on 23. I see, I like that back on stereo. So then let's move this. And let's just put it on 11. We'll put this on, let's put it on that one. Wait, where did I put this? There we go. And we'll put this here. Dang, there's not a loud effect. All right, so you can see now they're all on separate tracks. I can leave the tracks, other tracks on here if I want, but I want to delete these out because I'm not using the other tracks. If I wanted to finish adding them in, I could, but again, I'm not using them. So I'm just gonna play it just so I can see which ones have <laughs> sounds coming to us so I don't actually delete the wrong stuff. There we go. And then from there, let's see, you can do a couple of things. I send all mine to the bus. They're way too loud, so let's turn this down. This is really just a drum. See, I have this knock plug-in over on the, the whole thing. If I want, I can put that back on the drum bus, on the group now, the folder. And I'll disable it from here, because again, now the sounds are coming through the individual tracks and they're flowing through the bus. I can now process all the tracks just as I would in any other instance individually. Again, I can turn on my kick, need to kick. Need the snare. Process all of them, put a nice Flipper on. OTT. -T. 
So you got full control now over all the tracks that you were, you know, using individually, just as if you had the multiple tracks with the MIDI on each split out. I tend to do it that way just because it's quick, but if this is the way that you want to work, this is how to do it. I would also suggest, in this case, if you do plan to use battery with multi-outs, a quick thing to kind of save you steps one through five, simply save this as a track template. Save tracks as track template. You save this next time, you're ready to go. All you have to do is upload the track template and insert your new um, kit within battery. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you do this, anytime you change the kit, you will have to go back into those individual cells and map them to the output because changing the kit refreshes the battery and all of the cells back to the default. So they'll all end up going back through the master. If you perform the steps and you found that you know, the sounds after you changed the output from master to whatever um, channel you decided are not coming out. Double check the outs here. I would say click this and make sure that your, your plug-in pin connectors, that all these boxes are checked. So that's how you route it out. Really saving the track as a template, I think it's gonna be super helpful. Again, that will save you from having to repeat steps, you know, one through five. If this video was helpful, you can help me by hitting that like button. Subscribe to get locked into the channel and to be notified when I post the next video. All right, music community, until the next time, peace. Yes. Complex.